cold shiver run through my entire body. It gushed through my veins with such violent yet pleasing speed and power that it felt as if the shiver was trying to escape. The inner workings of my bodily fluids pushed back against it valiantly. The waves of my blood combated with the forces of my own willpower. My being was at war with itself, and the warning chill before an event against my human blood, my will against my conscience. My mind was at work against the common structure of ordinary humans, and as agonizing as it was, as horribly exhausting and painful this moment had become, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. This pain, this self-destruction was what I thrived on. My consciousness thirsted for it, like a twisted and abnormally dangerous sex drive. It was in moments like this that served as a constant reminder that no matter how fiercely I strained, no matter how much I begged, and no matter how much I may have wanted it to stop, I would never be able to shake away my nature. This evil, uncontrollable thing was who I was and who I was always going to be. I would always be this terrible manifestation of the worst of mankind, but oh, how I reveled in it. this was going to be just an average job. I had done things almost identical to this, and on all of those, I had been in and out without incident. But when I looked down at my oblivious mark, and I felt the shiver upon me, all certainties possessed beforehand had promptly vanished. This had suddenly turned into a special job. Kill him in his sleep so he won't make a sound, he had said. Normally, I had no qualm for that with the shiver upon me again. I couldn't bring myself to just kill him. Like I had said before, I could not fight my nature. I let loose the beast. I made this personal. I made him mine. Good to see you, my friend. Is there anything you would like to say before the inevitable? Please. I beg of you. Please. Whatever they'll pay you, I'll double it. Look here, fat man. If you think you can bribe me, you've got the wrong idea. Nothing you could say could make me turn away. You're one dead as can be, and what kind of assassin would I be if I let you go for some measly coin? Thou art an oily, blubbery wart on the face of the human race. Thou art the dirtiest dirt and the crawliest of insects. Thou art the bile and filth of society, and the underling of the underbelly of all that is good and righteous. You are the epitome of stupidity and cruelty. You are the zenith of outright ugliness. You are therefore sentenced to death by the order of my employer, and the sentence to be carried out by none other than the cloaked man sitting over you. You are the servant of my dagger. Now do my dagger's bidding. <laughs>
sure that I was going to be in some way reprimanded for this by my employer. People will know that the man was in fact murdered and did not simply pass in his sleep. I was, in all likelihood, not going to get paid at all. But for the rest of that dark night, it didn't matter. I had satisfied the shiver, and for me, at least for a time, that was enough.